Hi, this is Halal. In this video, we will use the Lagrange multiplier in solving the constrained optimization problem. So the question is, maximize u is equal to 4x square plus 3xy plus 6y square subject to x plus y is equal to 56. So this is called objective function and this is the constraint. This is the constraint to this maximization. Now we have to solve this. Ma uh, sorry, we have to maximize this problem. So how will we do this? First of all, we will set the constraint equal to zero. We will set it uh, this uh, equation equal to zero. So set constraint constraint equal to zero. So this implies. 56 minus transposing this will become minus x minus y is equal to 0. So first we set the constant equal to 0. After that we will add lambda. Sorry we will multiply this constant with lambda. Therefore multiplying it by lambda. So this will become lambda times 56 minus x minus y. Now, after that, to get the Lagrange's function, we will add this term to the objective function. So, I will write z is equal to, we will add this term to the objective function. So, this will become, I will write first this objective function, that is 4x square plus 3xy plus 6y square. And I will add this term to this uh, function, objective function. So, here it is lambda into 56 minus x minus y now to get the value of x y and lambda we will partially differentiate this lag ranges function with respect to x y and lambda so partially differentiating first we will differentiate this with respect to x so i will write z subscript x implies i am partially differentiating this with respect to x so this will become now the derivative this will become 2 4 the 8 x plus here is x so the uh, derivative of x is 1 so this will become 3y plus since there is no x uh, x involved so it is derivative is 0 and now plus here is lambda into 56 no x involved so it is also 0 now lambda into minus x will become the derivative of minus x is minus 1 so this will become minus lambda now lambda into y no x is involved here so this will also become zero now we have differentiated this partially and we will set it equal to zero similarly we will uh, differentiate with respect to y and set it equal to zero that is partially differentiating with respect to y the given languages function so this will become here no x is involved so the derivative is zero now here is three into x into y the derivative of y is one so this will become 3x plus now 2 into 6 is equal to 12 y uh, similarly lambda into 56 is 0 lambda into minus x 0 because no y is involved now lambda into minus y will become minus lambda now we will equate also this to the 0 now similarly partially differentiating with respect to lambda so this will become here no uh, lambda involved here is no also lambda involved and here is no lambda now so this is 0 0 and 0 now lambda into 56 is 56 is the coefficient of sorry the derivative of lambda is 1 similarly lambda into minus x the derivative of lambda is 1 so this will become minus x and minus y and we will set it equal to 0 let this be equation first second and third we will solve these equations to get the value of x y and lambda now we will um, we will subtract the equation second from one so subtracting equation second from one will give us now eight minus three is five x five x now three minus twelve three minus twelve is minus nine y now minus into minus uh, into minus into minus so this will become plus lambda minus lambda minus minus plus so minus lambda plus lambda will cancel each other so this will this is zero now solving this x is equal to x is equal to 9 y hour 5 now we will put this value put the value of x in equation third we will put the value of x 
in this equation so this will become 56 minus now x we will write in uh, uh, x at uh, x we will write 9y over 5 minus y is equal to 0 now solving this solving this will uh, give us uh, this will become 56 minus uh, 2.8 y 2.8 y is equal to 0 now again solving this I am skipping some steps because of the lack of the space so this will get uh, lengthy if I write all the steps I hope you are getting the steps here now this will become 2.8 2.8 y is equal to 56 or y is equal to 56 over 2.8 that is y is equal to 20 so value of y is 20 now we will put the y is, uh, value of y in equation third put value of y in third so our equation third is this is 56 minus x minus 20 is equal to 0 now solving this and this will become this will become minus x now transposing 56 minus 20 is uh, 36 and this will become minus 36 or x is equal to 36 so this, this is the value of x now put the value of x and y in either of the two equations because here lambda is involved we can easily get the value of lambda now put put value of x and y in either in equation one or two so we will put is equation first so here it is add into x the value of x is 36 plus 3 y the value of y is 20 plus uh, here it is minus lambda this is equal to this is equal to 0 now when solving this uh, this will become this will become 288 plus 60 minus lambda is equal to so, uh, sorry uh, is equal to 0 now now again this will become 348 minus lambda is equal to 0 now minus lambda is equal to minus 348 or lambda is equal to 348 now we got the value of lambda now after that we will put the value of x y and lambda these are the maximum conditions so the maximum optimal uh, value of x and y we got the value of x and y now we will put the value of x y and lambda in the Lagrange's function that is uh, put value of x y and lambda in z so z is equal to z is equal to this will become here uh, it is 4 into now value of x is 36 now it is squared i will write 36 square plus 3 into 36 and the value of uh, y is 20 so i will write this is 20 now plus 6 into 6 into y square so y square minus 20 square so i will write 20 square plus lambda lambda we have calculated this is 348 into 56 minus the value of minus x that is 36 is, um, minus 20 that is the value of y now when solving this will come out to be 9744 so the value of z is 9744 and our optimal x is value of x is 20 y is 36 and lambda is 348 348 now what does this tell us it means a unit change in the constant of the constant 
will cause z to change by 348 units now our constant if there is a unit change in this constant of the constraint this Lagrange's function this z will change by 348 unit it means a unit change unit change in constant constant of constraint constraint the constraint is this uh, since it is constant if it changes by it becomes 56 or sorry 57 or 55 the Lagrange's z will Lagrange's function z will change by change by 340 348 units so this was all about the optimization using Lagrange's constant so we we get the value of lambda this lambda shows us if there is small increment one unit change in the constant of the constraint this z will change by 348 units okay so please subscribe to our youtube channel econ maths for more videos on mathematical economics also comment and share Thank you.